producing television sports is like an arms race. Every year there's some new graphic, there's some new camera angle, there's something new that can be added to make the broadcast a little bit more interesting. What I've chosen to focus on with some of my research is what are all the different technological embellishments that broadcasters kind of add on top of the sports broadcast to draw interest uh, in, a, in a particular competition, to make the game interesting, to enliven the broadcast. As I was interested in that subject, I started noticing this particular camera angle that's starting to show up more and more in sports. And it's this overhead subjective camera perspective of gameplay where you kind of see the game unfold from an overhead or the quarterback's point of view sometimes. Sometimes you've seen other novel camera techniques like a, a helmet cam where the camera might actually be mounted inside a player's helmet. Again, the purpose of these techniques is to make you see the action from that unique perspective as though you're there on the field. And the end result of that is, is again, the sense of engagement, the sense of spatial immersion within that environment that you're seeing on, on the screen. The first study I did looked at this using simple pencil and paper responses to the gameplay, whether they felt immersed in the broadcast, whether they found the, the subjective camera perspective exciting. Uh, and then the next study I did was here in our uh, psychophysiology labs. I brought people in, had them sit down, used equipment that was able to measure their uh, physiological responses to gameplay, and see what happened in terms of that bodily reaction to gameplay, to see if it was arousing, to see if their body was saying the same thing that their self-report data was saying.